What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Eric and I'm a first year Canadian medical school student. Today we're going to be talking about how much YouTube paid me for my first month of being a partner. Now content creators get a YouTube studio where they can see analytics like views, watch times, subscribers, as well as revenue. Talking about my first month of being a partner, which was starting on October 28th until November 28th, you can see here that I made $163.19. And that was thanks to just under 10,000 views, just shy of 700 watch time hours, and 184 new subscribers. We can see that I posted four videos during this time, uh, one on October 28th, and then the last one on November 25th. And you can see the one on November 25th actually made me the most money for that time with $8.86. But then it looks like the lowest one is November 5th uh, with $2.74. So you can see there's actually a really big range of how much money you can make, which is entirely dependent on how many people are seeing your videos, whether YouTube's pushing them out to other people, and what kind of ads are being shown on your site. Next, if we dive a little bit more into the revenue tab, we can see three really important values. The first one we already touched upon, which was estimated revenue, which is $163. And then there's two other values that are important, which are RPM and CPM. Now CPM is essentially how much advertisers are paying YouTube. And then the RPM is how much of that you actually get for every 1000 views on your videos. So you can see right now an RPM of 16.57 means that for every 1000 views I get on my videos, I would make $16.57. YouTube also has these fun stats to break it down by month. So you can see in October, I made just shy of $24. In November, I made $145.65. Now, I got partnered on October 28th, so that only gave me four days. So, averages out to about $6 a day. And then November, it just finished. Uh, today, I'm filming, it's December 1st. And you can see that in the entire month of November, I made just under 150 bucks. The studio also tells you which videos are performing the best and are bringing in the most money. So as you can see, the top earning video during this time frame was part one of my MCAT strategy. And then it shows how much different videos are bringing in. Next, a really good website to estimate how much you're going to make per month is Social Blade. So if you look at my Social Blade, it gives you a lot of stats about your channel. So for example, right now at the time of filming, I have 23 uploads, 1.69 thousand subscribers, and just under 75,000 video views. And then it gives you all these rankings and ratings compared to other people on YouTube as well. And But if you see in the middle of the screen, an estimated monthly earnings. So Social Blade estimated that I make between $3 and $47. You can see that my estimated yearly earnings are between $35 and $559. Now, usually the estimate is pretty accurate if you just take the middle of that range. So 48 divided by 2 is about $24. I'm not exactly sure why I don't follow that general rule, but from watching other YouTube videos and other people talk about how much they're making, that's usually what happens. You take the upper range, divide by two, and you have a pretty good estimate of how much that person is making per month. So next I want to show you a little bit about how other channels are performing and roughly how much they're making. So one really popular YouTube channel is Daily Dose of Internet. And essentially what this guy does is compile all these great clips from around the internet do these short digestible two, three minute clips, and then features them in like sort of like a highlight reel. And you can see here that uh, in the past 30 days, he's got 400,000 subscribers and his estimated monthly earnings is upwards of $623,000 just for making these, um, these weekly two minute videos. If we take the high end of that range and divide by two, like we talked about, that's about $310,000 per month, which if we do the math on that is $3.6 million a year, roughly. Wow, I really wish I knew you can make this kind of money being a YouTuber. Another channel to look at is Kurzgat, which I'm sorry if I just butchered the pronunciation, but as you can see from this poster that they sell in their store, I'm a big fan of their channel. And they do videos about science topics and just cool thought experiments that I've never really thought about. So we can see here that in the last 30 days, they've had 200,000 new subscribers. And within a month, they make roughly about upwards of $114,000, which we divide by two again, it's about $55,000 per month. 
Now, if we want to get into the extremes, we can look at some of the most popular YouTubers on YouTube. So some of those people being PewDiePie. We can say that PewDiePie, his estimated monthly earnings is $1.1 million. That's the max. So half of that is $550,000, which is insane. PewDiePie is making a lot of money. Of course, if we're looking at PewDiePie, we can also look at his greatest competitor, which is T-Series. I'm not really sure where this whole drama started, but uh, T-Series and PewDiePie were in the biggest competition for most amount of subscribers. And we can see here that T-Series monthly earnings estimate, the highest high end is 18.5 million. Uh, so if we divide that by two, it's about 9.25 million per month. Wow, that's insane. I never looked at this before, but that's crazy. Maybe we can look at some other music artists. So who's another big one? So if we look at Justin Bieber. So Justin Bieber has 59.2 million subscribers on YouTube. And every time he puts out a music video, that usually gets a lot of views, right? Music videos are always really popular. And his estimated monthly earnings are about uh, 150000 divided by two. It's like $75,000 per month just from YouTube on top of all his sponsorships and concerts and record deals and probably a lot of ways he's making money. What about a different artist? Who's a big pop artist? Ed Sheeran. So Ed Sheeran's making, Ed Sheeran's making a lot more than... Justin Bieber, his estimated monthly earnings, probably just under half a million dollars, which is crazy. I wish I had these kinds of stats on my videos. We can also look at some like podcasts. So one I listen to is Joe Rogan show. So Joe Rogan, you can see here, first of all, I want to mention that a lot of these channels like podcast type channels have their main channel where they post their podcasts and post all the different uh, videos that they like to do. And then they have a side channel where they post the highlights of that. And then a lot of the times the highlights channels are actually more popular and tend to bring more money. So I'll show you what I mean by this. So Joe Rogan's channel, he's making about 500,000 divided by two. So a quarter of a million dollars every single month. But then on his highlight channel, uh, he's actually bringing in a little bit more than that every single month just by taking what he's already posted and finding the best of the best of those clips. So if you looked at the most popular YouTubers according to Social Blade, you see that T-Series are already on here, and we talked about that already. And uh, there's a few other people like Amy Rodriguez and a bunch of uh, kids' channels. I think this channel just makes animations for little kids. Estimated every single month they're making $7.5 million, which is insane. So if we take a look at some other people that are in the medical profession, we can see that with Ali Abdal's YouTube channel, for example, his estimated monthly earnings is upwards of 27000 So that's about... Uh, $13.5,000 every single month. Can look at some other people like Karma Medic. Karma Medic is 611,000 subscribers. Every single month, he's bringing in about $7.2,000 just from YouTube alone. If we take a look at another Canadian YouTuber who's also a medical student, we can see that on his channel, uh, he is actually bringing in just under $5,000 every single month, which is, again, insane. For me, a typical YouTube video takes about five to six hours between planning it, writing a script for it, actually filming it, editing, and putting it out there. So if you do like five or six hours a week of work, uh, that's about you know 20 to 24 hours in a month. And if you're making $5,000 from that, that's, that's a pretty good return, right? That's insane. You know, even if we compare it to how much doctors are making. So if we just look up CARMS Ontario salary, so if we look at this site, we can see exactly how much residents are making on a yearly basis. So in Ontario, for a first year resident, we can see that they make about $60,000. And then every single year is about a $6,000 raise. Now, since you're working like 80 hour, 100 hour shifts every single week, you're av actually averaging out to not make uh, much more than minimum wage. On top of that, you also get pay for being on call and you got some times with leaves as well as insurance and dental coverage. So I told you that I made about $160 for about 20 hours of work, which is averages out to about $8 an hour, which for just starting off and being a partner on YouTube for only a month isn't bad at all. I'm really happy with that. I never really thought I'd be making money from YouTube in the first place. When I first started the channel, I was really passionate about giving out information and helping others the same way that I was helped during a lot of my application process. 
For me, it was just about putting out helpful videos so that others would have the same kind of assistance that I had. Now, if I can make a little bit of money while doing something I'm really passionate about, that's just even better. So I hope this video has given you a little bit of a better understanding about the magic and mystery behind how people make money on YouTube. And it's left you with a sense of inspiration and pushed you to start your own YouTube channel and hopefully do something you're passionate about too and make a little money on the side. Like usual, that's been your daily dose of Mehdi Sun, and I'll see you in the next video.